Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. A Universal Interactive Studios production. Developed by Traveler's Tales. Crash Bandicoot, the Wrath of Cortex. Yeah, so we have Crash Bandicoot, the Wrath of Cortex for the Sony PlayStation 2. And I'll just use my initials. And yeah, this game has a really, really, really lengthy intro. So, the first episode might contain, like, one or two levels, and that's about it. I also have every level in every game I play timestamped, so look up for that. Imbeciles! Fools! Nincompoops! Can't you idiots do anything right? According to this, your track record for spreading evil is pathetic! Uka Uka, it's not our fault that wretched Pandicoot is to blame. I will not let anything stand in the way of evil. Especially not a brainless orange marsupial. Crash must be eliminated. Uh, Uka Uka, need I remind you that Crash always finds a way to defeat us? Maybe he's just too good for us. Enough excuses! You five idiots need to come up with one good plan! Or else... How do I get into these situations? Ugh. There must be something we can come up with. Say, Doctor, haven't you been tinkering with some kind of new secret weapon in your laboratory? I don't know what you're talking about, Entropy. Dr. Cortex! I think he's referring to this super secret weapon you've been laboring over day and night since the last time Crash defeated you. Enough bickering! Do we have a plan? Well, in my scientific endeavors, I've been able to create a genetically advanced super weapon of unbelievable strength. But the power source is the final missing crucial element. Yes! The Elementals! Right! The Elementals, that's it! If released, their destructive energy could create enough power to bring my secret weapon to life. We have a weapon capable of crushing mountains, demolishing entire cities, and wiping Crash Bandicoot off the face of the Earth forever! Get ready to face my wrath, Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> Everyone all right? It appears that my evil twin brother Uka Uka is up to his no good tricks again. I must find out what he is planning. I'll meet up with you later. Uh, hello, my feeble brother. You have gotten my attention, Uka Uka. What kind of diabolical scheme do you and Dr. Cortex have planned this time? No schemes. Just some old familiar faces dropping by for a visit. <laughs> no, not the elementals. Uka Uka, why did you release them? Don't you 
know what happened the last time they were free. So they were responsible for a few earthquakes, floods in that little ice age a couple of centuries back. You worry too much, brother. You cannot restrain them, Fuka Uka. They are far too dangerous. This could spell disaster for us all. <laughs> On the contrary, Aku Aku. It spells disaster for you and that precious planet you care so much about. Destroy him! You won't get away with this. <laughs> Who's going to stop us? Crash, Coco, it is just as I feared. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have freed a group of destructive masks known as the Elementals. We must find a way to stop them before they destroy the Earth and all of its inhabitants. The only way to stop the Elementals' destructive nature is to imprison them with the use of ancient crystals. Each elemental can be returned back to their hibernation state with a total of five crystals. We must act quickly. Coco, what is the status of the new portal chamber you've been working on? It's almost finished. A few little adjustments here and there and it'll be ready to go. Well done, Coco. This gives us the ideal opportunity to test it. We must hurry. I love how Crash is like me. I'll probably cut if the loading times are too long between levels, I'll just cut them out. Won't bother talking in them, so I can just remove them. Crash Bandicoot, my old nemesis. How the heck are you? Still gathering crystals? Old habits die hard, don't they? My days are being spent on something much more intriguing. Meet Crunch, my newest creation. <laughs> This is the creature who keeps sabotaging your master plan? Ha! <laughs> you gotta be kidding! I'll exterminate this field rat in no time! Now, Crunch, your time with Crash will come soon enough. Isn't he brilliant? A testament to my true scientific genius. A real bandicoot warrior. Unlike you, Crash. Oh well, we all make mistakes. Ta-ta for now. Alright, so we finally get to play. So there's five hub worlds plus a bonus world right in the middle that we can't go to yet. With five levels, there's a total of 30 levels in the game. Each level has a crystal, multiple gems, or relics, or items to collect. So, before we go over, square is the spin, jump is with the X button, crawl and slide are with the circle button, triangle just brings up your totals, and then if you jump and press, I think, Circle, yeah, you can't, uh, for some reason sometimes do it, but jump and press circle to slam. Anyways, our first level is Arctic Antics, which for whatever reason the thing was off screen. What are you looking at, fuzzhead? I'm Rocco, the Earth Elemental. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex woke me from my captive slumber, and now I'm free to pulverize whatever gets in my way. Oh, don't even think about collecting those crystals, Grunt. Because if you do, I'm going to bury you alive. All right, masks. All right, so we have to destroy 147 crates to get the gem, and oh yeah, man, this game, I don't know why, but it looks really good on this emulator, like, it's beautiful. Also, my microphone, I really gotta move over to the side here for a second, because my microphone sits like right, kind of like to the left of my screen, and it just cuts off certain things. For TNT, you want to jump on. For these ones, you want to get them before they turn to steel. 
Aku Aku gives you an extra hit. The C crates are for checkpoints, so if you die, you end up back there. Also, you have no control of the camera in this game, which is one of the worst features of this game. Because it just follows you, so it makes jumping in this game a lot more difficult than you need to. Those take five jumps to destroy, or you can just spin into them. These activate other things. Nitro will instantly kill you, so watch out for that. And on ice, you kind of slip and slide, so be careful there too. So are those narwhals over there? Also, this is a lot of crates for the very first level of the game, by the way. Uh, you can also crouch and then jump to gain some extra distance, or I guess height. You can slide jump, though, to gain extra distance, that's the thing. Also, these crates, you have to slam them, so like I said, jump, slam, boom, done, broken, shattered, destroyed. Ah, oh, these skiers, these skiers are very threatening people. I, I do not know if I trust them in their epic prowess. If you watch this, TNT will actually destroy all other crates in the area, which is pretty cool. Super convenient for, you know, dealing with certain things. 101 per fruit will give you a life. Kind of explanatory and collect upon games. Like 100 per currency will give you lives. Except Spyro, out of all the games, aren't like that. Crash Bandicoot was. But games like Spyro aren't. And I believe, like, games like Kai and stuff like that were too. I'm not entirely sure about anything else. Also, did the music just loop? I think the music just looped. That was weird. It did loop. It just, like, abruptly looped. I'm not entirely sure why. Alright, and then once you get three masks, you're invincible for a short amount of time. And we died! Because he slipped off the round slope, and I believe there was a death, um... A death, uh, platform here, which means you can't die to get it, but... Oh well. Yeah, I was right there, too. I should have just went for it instead of... Do you see that? He slid off twice in a row. Now, that's just getting annoying. So I'll have to come back here to do that. So I'll probably do that after this, or maybe I'll come back and do it later. I don't actually know. Oh my god, I don't feel like dying, game. Like, stop with that, please. Also, it's really funny that the bonus and the uh, death platform are right next to each other. So bonuses you jump on, right? And it'll take you to like a little mini game type area, like a little more difficult section where you have to collect crates and you can get lives and stuff like that. You do have to do these though. They're called bonuses. Also, for some reason, I can't see that all. So I don't know. That's kind of annoying. I'm going to have to figure out a way to have that pop up on screen. Like, I can't even see it. It's not just the, the emulator, it's just the everything in total. This is the only game that I have that does that, by the way. It, I, I'm gonna figure that out at the end of this episode. It might also allow us to see things better. And we got all 25 crates, so that's good. Now let's go. I do like the snow. It is pretty. That would make a good thumbnail right there. Still really wish I could freaking control the camera in this game, but you can't. It's... Huh. Slipped off the slope again. I love how I'm probably going to die more in this level than any other level in the game. Also, if you do the bonus, you do keep all the crates, so don't worry about that. But now we have to do these stupid platforms. Why? Why does he do that? Like, do you see that? He's... he's slid off after he hit it, like he's some kind of nincompoop. Like, my god, game, what is going on? <laughs> this is getting ridiculous at this point, man. I'm gonna spend forever on the first episode just because the game is like, nah, how about, no, you're not allowed to jump like that. I don't even know what to say anymore, man. That's just annoying. Also, why didn't you trigger that? God, what is going on here, game? Thank you. I don't know what's so difficult about that. Oh my god. 
god, but get me out of here, man. At this point, I don't want to be in this zone anymore. Thank you. There's the crystal. There's one in every level, by the way. Also, there's a lot of crates, but guess what? There's also a lot of nitro, and... Oh my god. Are there three of these? Who thought this would be fun? Okay, no, there isn't. But we'll do that just in case, because you get extra height and confirm. We're on some ice. Oh yeah, there we go. 147 out of 147 will give us one of the cool gems, which then we can now leave. Ugh, that was that was brutal. Alright, so that's that and that's that. We can go back to the death platform, but we'll probably do that in another episode. For right now, let's do Tornado Alley. Which is a level we can 100 percent Okay, so to fire we have to press the X button. Let's destroy all the crates first. There are 15. And you just move around normally like you would in any other crash game, except now you're flying. Crash has always been pretty innovative with their levels, especially since Crash 3 when they started adding in other gimmicks to their levels. And these little guys will try and kill you and stuff. They're really not that threatening. This is just like the first vehicle level anyway. So you can't expect them to do too much. The time trial for this one too is also really easy. It's like almost impossible to fail unless for some reason you're like really 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 bad. And that takes a lot of skill to be that bad at this level. Wait, why are there so many crates over here though? So that's two more crates. Don't destroy the last one though until you get all the crates. Because you're gonna need to do that, otherwise it's gonna create some difficulties. Also, the crates don't technically count till they hit the ground, so unless you can destroy the box manually, you're gonna have to wait for them to uh, actually touch the ground for them to count. That one also didn't have a sound effect. Okay, so we don't. See, if you destroy them like that, they'll count. Ow, oh no, you just took some of my health away, man. I don't want to destroy you yet. There should be two more after that. Yes, sir, Bubba G. And these are our last ones. There we go. There's our clear gem. Perfect. Now we can destroy this with a crystal and be done with it. Nice. We did it. Perfect. Adios. Right. There's the crystal. And the gem. Right, so we can probably do the time trial, because I think the next one's a- Oh no, the next one's that level. That one, we might wait till the next one, so let's show off a time trial. Time trials you have to beat within, obviously, a certain you amount of time. You me, Bandicoot? Huh? Huh? Do ya? Ha! Huh? Wuss! Um, okay then there, Mr. Mask Dude. Weird, but sure. Now we have to find Looks the, like uh, block. The level technically doesn't trigger until you find the clock. Now where is it? In this game, they're a lot of time in a really weird spot. Where are they? Where is it? Where is the time trial starter? Um, like, serious question, where is it? Is that it over there? No? It's on a balloon, I know that for a fact. Where is it? Time trial starter, where are you? Like, I don't see it anywhere. Oh, there it is! Sheesh! There we go. Now we can start the time trial. So just bum rush through it as fast as humanly possible. Nothing special there. You know, sure, the crate's there. It'll stop your time if they're yellow. And this game gives you a lot of time stoppage crates, which is good. You don't get any speed boosts, so don't expect to like move any faster doing anything. Also, you can hit the crates from way further away than the tornado generates. So these guys just keep flying into me. Like, they're not even like shooting me at this point, they're just running into me like maniacs. I don't know. 
we won't be doing any more time trials unless they're like underwater or like vehicle levels because the other ones you're going to need a certain power up to do and to get that we actually have to beat the game so time trials will definitely come later on in the game where's the last one right in the middle all right destroy this and we're good let's see what color we got We got platinum, so what'll happen is the color will be the first color to flash. So there's three colors. There's sapphire, gold, and platinum. Platinum is the highest one you can get. But it flashes the original color first, then shows the platinum for whatever reason, so I don't know. But there we go. Now I'll probably cut until we can get to the, uh, the um, death platform. Alright, so we made it back here, so unless we fall in the water now, we should be golden. There we go, we made it to the death platform, even though I have an Akko Akko on my face. That was funny. So, alrighty. Yeah, so remember all those crates, how it showed so many that we didn't have? That's because there was a ton of nitro. And for whatever reason, in the death platform paths of this game, they love putting nitro. That's like they're... They got a hard on for nitro. And it pushed us right off the ledge. Which means now we're gonna have to go back to the platform without dying. Because if we die, before we get back to this platform, we're gonna die. Or we're gonna die, we're gonna lose the platform. You can die as many times as you want on the death plat death path, whatever they call it. But yeah. And for some reason the perspective was bad. God, I hate the camera's perspective for this game sometimes. This game has a bunch of mini flaws, which is why it never did as good as the other ones. It also didn't really introduce anything new to the genre, which is another thing. Also, there's the blue gem. Technically, you can also die. You don't actually have to beat the level. Also, if you screw this up, you can't actually leave the level through this. Like that. Now we can't leave the level. So now I'll just cut till we beat the level. Alright, so we made it to the end of the level, which is right here, and there we go. Now we can go drop off the blue gem that we got. So that's how we get that. In the next episode, we'll be doing, what level was it? Bamboozled. One of the Atlasphere levels, which, in most people's opinion, are the worst levels in this game. Which, eh, they're fine. They're not the worst. But there we go, we got the blue gem, and he doesn't do a dance in this game. But, yeah. So anyways, if you guys are excited for next episode, we'll be doing Bamboozled, Wizards and Lizards, and compactor reactor so i'll see you guys next time bye bye leave a like comment subscribe and hit the bell